Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So, uh, today I have a house mouse and a not too shabby chic, or a not too shabby haul. <laughs> not too shabby chic, wow. Shame on me. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos thumbs up likes are always appreciated and any questions or comments please leave them down below so we're gonna start with the not too shabby haul um I can't remember whose video I was watching when um uh I placed this order but I was watching somebody's order I want to say it was probably let me look I think it was um, Stephanie Davis's channel, I think, is who I was watching, and I ran over and placed this order. Um, honestly, I can't remember because, you know, y'all know how it is. You get into watching videos and you're going down a rabbit hole, and yeah. Anywho, I'm pretty certain it was Stephanie Davis's channel that... Uh, prompted me to run over uh, to her shop but um, it was uh, the this is called not too shabby as in not the number two shabby and I've ordered from her before but it's been a while and um, yeah so let's take a peek and see what I got um, yeah there's more in here hold on Anywho, do, do, do. we're going to start with something fun. Now, I didn't get everything. The things I bought were on clearance or markdown, and that's why I bought them. But now i got to get some other pieces to play with it. But I have always wanted to play with um, the Chibitronics um, light systems. And she had a mark down to a really awesome price. And honestly, I wish I'd picked up some more. But I got them in the tropical lights. So it's that kind of like pretty purpley pink, green, and a yellow. So it says there's uh, 10 pink, 10 orange, and 10 green. So I think that's pretty fantastic. And then this one's just called color lights. So it's 10 red, 10 blue, and 10 yellow. So that's a nice selection right there. And I picked up two uh, rolls of the copper tape that, you know, will complete your, your circuit. So now I have to get um, this piece here. This is um, kind of where, like, you complete your circuits and put your battery and all that. And so I need to pick up some of those but this is kind of an expensive um, expensive item so when I saw them on her site um, like I said the prices were fantastic so I bought those so picked those up then um, she had some picket fence and um, I got this one it is called I crop and it's a six by eight and so this says, I have taken the crafter's promise. I will never tell the real total. And then this one says, I left the kids, the laundry, and the dog to crop and shop at the expo. I left the husband, the kids, and the laundry to crop and shop at the expo. I think that's hilarious. And it says, I stood in line for this. And it says, I cropped, I shopped, and I dropped. And then we have the expo. Um... I live for stamping, I scrapbook, this one time at the expo, um, this is my happy place, um, I stamp, or I stamped, and my wallet seems bottomless at the expo. <laughs> I haven't been to one in quite some time. Um, I'd really like to go to one, but there haven't been any close to me in the past couple years. Uh, there used to be one right up the interstate in um, New Braunfels, but that ended quite a few years ago. So anyway, so got that. Then 
Um, this is one of the Not Too Shabby stamps. And this one is called uh, Pumpkin Spice Everything. And as I've mentioned before, I'm a pumpkin nut. Now, I don't like pumpkin spice lattes and all that kind of stuff. But, hey, I'm down for the coloring aspect of it. But I love this pumpkin with the scarf. Cozy stay. Thanks a latte. Coffee is always better with the friend. Pumpkin spice everything and warm hugs. And then you have the pumpkin and your little frappe there and a cupcake. And um, I believe this is a new release. And so I snatched that right up. Um, Stephanie had shared a whole bunch of other stamps, but this um, this was the one for me. There's another one where like she's, um, there's a girl and she's kind of dressed up in her little fall clothes and she's holding her coffee. It's, it's kind of pumpkin coffee related as well, but, uh, I passed on that one. Got that. Then I saw this little cutie and this is called Sweet Surprise. And I just thought that was too adorable. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing the hot, you know, the hot cocoa with the marshmallow on top and it looks like the bunny wanted to get into it. So love that. I thought that's going to be fun to color. And then, um, so apparently this is a designer called Darcy Heater Designs, flat back 10 pin embellishments. So I believe these are stickers, and they had all kinds of other ones, but I thought this one was too cute, and it's called Who's a Pirate? And I may have to see about picking up some more of these, because these are super, super adorable. So, so there's that. Then... Because you know me and buildings and that kind of stuff. I picked up this uh, Sunny Studios stamp set. Um, it is called Victorian Christmas. And I got the matching die to go with it. And I thought that'd be really adorable. Either in some scenes or just in a small... I'll put it on a gift tag. Uh, so there's that. And um, so if you're interested, here's her website. Come on and focus. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Not to, it's, it's not too shabby shop.com. And I don't know why it won't focus up, up close, but anyway, so there's, I think that's a sticker. Anyway, so that's her site. And, um, Her card. There's free shipping on orders over 60. My love for stamps and scrappy goodness. So. And then she sent this gift, which I'm absolutely loving. It's called Creme de Menthe. And it's a sequin mix. And um, I'm loving this. This is a really awesome gift. And I'll definitely use those. So that is my haul from the not too shabby shop and um, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out because she's got some other um, stamps I've got an eye on and um, so yeah so there's that now I was debating whether to do the house mouse um, video because there's still three stamps out there but honestly they're not going to be here till probably the end of the week so I have enough here that we're going to go ahead and share what I've picked up over the past uh, couple of weeks. And um, I'll just share the other ones like in like a collective haul or something. The boat, almost all of these, well, not almost, they all, these are all off of eBay um, because all but the one are Stamparosa. And so they're hard to find. There's a lot that are like, you see tons of them out there. But a lot of these that I'm about to show you, you don't find, and um, they're, I had to bid up on them, we'll just say that. So we're going to start from the top and go down, but I have, I think, 
another one, if not two more, in this particular series that are coming up. This one is called Chew, Blow, Pop, and this is Mud Pie, Amanda, and Muzzy. So that's Mud Pie, Amanda, and Muzzy, and they are chewing. Come on and focus. They're chewing on gumballs. So he's chewing on his um, gumball. Uh, Amanda has blown one and Mud Pie has one popped on his face. Or no, that's Mud Pie and that's Muzzy. So there's that one. And this is $19.99. So there's that. This one is hilarious. This is called Lemon Lips. And this is Mud Pie and Maxwell. Is that not funny or what? Um, so this is Mud Pie. This is Maxwell. And he's got the little lemon lips because he just took that big old chunk out of the lemon. And if you look, he's sitting in a cup of ice. Cooling down because they're on the beach. So there's that. Oh, and this one is $19.99. This one is from $19.98. And this is called Chewable Aspirin. And I think that's adorable. I, I feel so bad because he even looks miserable in the eyes. I mean, how sad. And giving, that's a big old honking aspirin there. So anyway, I just love the detail in all of the house mouse uh, images. I mean, the detail is just insane. So there's that. Now this was one I didn't pay attention and it's my fault, but I do love the image. So I'm not too upset. But this is a Stampendous. All the rest are Stampa Rosa. And remember, Stampa Rosa was before Stampendous basically took over. And, um, yeah. So the, mo the more desirable, one desirable ones will always be your Stampa Rosa house mouse. So this is Amanda, Mudpie, Muzzy, Monica, and Maxwell. And this is called Pumpkin Paint. And Maxwell is uh, covered and he uh, dumped the paint on top of himself. <laughs> and then uh, I love it because, you know, this pumpkin here, he's smiling like he's watching uh, uh, Amanda over here painting Mud Pie's face. And that's Monica right there. She's the baby. Love that. This next one is, oh, and this. Well, the stamp's dated 2004. Whether that's the original um, image date, I don't know. This next one is called Juggling Corn. It's from 1998. And he's just sitting on his little cob of corn. He's pulled some kernels out. And he's, uh, he's doing a good job of juggling. I would have had it all on the ground. Too, too adorable. Next, we have Throwing Daisy Petals, and this one is also from 1998, and I think that is so sweet. He looks so happy, just throwing them up in the air, and they're just raining on down. Too, too cute. Okay. This one here right now is my, we're going to call it my unicorn, because, um... I was fortunate to win this one in a lot, but if you go on eBay, when you find these as a single, some people are selling them for $35 and onwards to $50 for this one stamp. And this is called Dipped in Chocolate, and this is Mud Pie and Muzzy. Uh, it looks like somebody fell into the chocolate dip. <laughs> it is just the cutest. And, uh... He looks happy, though. He's licking it off. Too, too, too adorable. Oh, I should flip these over so y'all can't see them. Now we have Sunflower Smooch. And I think I've seen this one in the, um, the Kling stamps. Um, and I, I think I do have it in a Kling stamp. But my daughter absolutely adores sunflowers. And so I'm going to color this up for her. So, 
love love that is too too adorable this is another one that's hard to find oh and this is um 1998 and this is 1998 this next one is also 1998 and it's called mice on ice and this is mud pie muzzy amanda monica and maxwell and is that not adorable so look at the detail you got your little tube of licorice uh, candy and you got somebody back there they're licking their lips like they're gonna you know dive into the licorice and then we've got um, them down here and they're they got their little their little hockey sticks made of twigs and there's a licorice puck and then you've got uh, Monica and I believe that's Maxwell right there and they're over there warming themselves by the little fire they've got going right there love it and then this one is called ABCD E -K F G <laughs> this is 1999 this is Muzz Muzzy Maxwell Mud Pie Monica friend and Amanda and they're apparently they're learning their ABCs and look at them they're just sitting there um, so that's Amanda no, that's Monica. That's the friend. And then um, they're over here and they're learning. They're getting their little school lesson. So here's your chalkboard. He's sitting on the uh, the, the board eraser. And they're sitting on the, the back of a chair. So there's that one. And this last one. This is a big guy. Hold on. This one is called, um, now this is a design of the month. This is May 1999. And it's called Ballooning for Berries. And this is Mud Pie. Now, Mud Pie, you have to look. He always has a little notch in his ear. So, um, so like right there, that's Mud Pie. Here's Mud Pie right here. You got the little notch in his ear right there. That's Mud Pie right there. But, uh. Anywho, isn't that adorable? The hummingbirds are getting ready. They're wanting to poke the balloon. And he, oh, he's not focused on them. He's just focused on getting the berries. Too, too, too adorable. I am, y'all know, I'm like a house mouse nut. I, I just adore them. I'm looking at trying to get my husband to build me a... Um, a holder that hangs on the back of the, one of the doors in my craft room so where they can all be out on display all of the time um, right now I have them in acrylic frames so that they can stack on top of each other but um, yeah so this is my newest house mouse additions like I said I have three more on the way and um, yeah there's just lots of mousy cuteness going on if you have any questions about any of them you know feel free to ask i'm i'm happy to help um you can go to um house mouse designs and see like i believe all of the stamps ever made are listed now you won't be able to get them but they do list them and they also have like coloring charts so you can um see how um jackie I, I can never say her last name i want to say it's jerky um but um how she intended them to be colored so anyway uh i hope you enjoyed this video i have um tuesday morning i believe i have peachy cheap and a dollar tree haul and um oh i have a tonic the tonic craft kit arrived yesterday so i'll be sharing that tomorrow this is the tonic craft kit i believe 35 and it's i believe the the theme is called rustic rose so be on the lookout for that and um as always love you guys to pieces happy crafting Bye bye